hey guys welcome back to sparkling silvers in today's video i'm gonna show you how i achieved this peekaboo hair color look with the help of a semi-permanent color and that too in five easy steps so keep on watching the video till end as a lot of information is about to come your way also please hit the like button if you like the video and also you can subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more gray hair videos so let's start step one color selection as it was for the first time that i was about to use a fancy color on my hair i chose nothing extreme but a basic pink color i think pink goes well with any skin tone What can be a better platform than Pinterest to get ideas and inspirations for various hair experiments? So after exploring ideas on Pinterest, I found the under layer coloring to be the most interesting and suitable for my bow hairstyle. So now we got to get a pink color. After going through various hair color brands on Amazon, I decided to get a very bright and vibrant flamingo pink color which was from the Punky Colors. It is a semi-permanent cream based color. It is cruelty free, paraben free and also vegan. And the best part is it's safe to be used on natural silver hair. It gradually fades out in about 12 to 15 washes. I'll share some pictures of how it washed out from my hair at the end of the video so keep watching till the end. strand test okay ladies this is important a strand test is crucial for two reasons the first one is that it helps in determining the final color results you know it's better than surprises of the outcome when you dye your full head of hair second thing is that it allows you to test for any allergic reactions you may have to the ingredients in the dye well, I never put any products on my hair before doing a patch or strand test. Seriously, because I don't want to ruin my heart and cell walls. So how do we do a strand test? Look, what I did, I got my hair washed and dried. Then I took a strand of hair from the area of my head that is not quite visible. I applied the color from the roots to the tip. Kept it set on for the time as instructed on the color box. Then rinsed it off. And yes, I did this test 48 hours before the final color application. Step 3. Preparing hair and skin. Well, it is suggested to wash hair 1-2 to two days before the color application. But I washed it on the same day as my hair releases oil the second day and that's not a good idea as oily hair doesn't grab color better. Also, I skipped the conditioner as it creates an extra layer on hair which is not great for better coverage and longevity of color. Applying Vaseline to the hairline and on the ears is also a good idea as most of the semi-permanent colors are super staining. So now we are ready to move on to the next step that is the sectioning of the hair. To get this underlayer look, I will need to part my hair in a way that it looks like a halo. So I'm gonna section my hair in three parts. First, I'm gonna center part my hair and then starting from the recession point, I'm gonna move all the way around to the center of the back. After combing everything and tightly pulling my hair back, I'll make a nice and tight bun on top of my head. We'll repeat the same step on the other side of the head. Here we are done with the sectioning of hair. And now let's move on to the final step that is the coloring. Starting with the lowest inner layer, I clip the rest of my hair up. Then, putting on the gloves, I started the color application. 
I started with a brush but then I preferred my hands for a quick application. I took the help of my daughter for precise color application. Then I just kept on sectioning and coloring till I was done. I made sure my hair was completely saturated with the color. I kept the color on for 30 minutes and then with my gloves on, I rinsed off the color with the lukewarm water and applied the conditioner. And this is how the color came out to be. My hair is still wet here. So the final outcome after drying and straightening my hair, isn't it gorgeous? I think I'll be doing it again with a blue under layer. Now does the color comes out easily? I would say yes. Here are a few pictures of my hair after several hair washes and see it came out gradually and this is how my hair looks today after almost 15 hair washes. The color is barely noticeable and will come out completely in a few more washes. So that's all folks for today. Hope you like the pretty transformation. Let me know in the comment box if you wish to watch more hair coloring videos. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Sparkling Silvers. In today's video, I'm gonna share you. So keep on watching the video till end.